Hi everyone, it's Cindy and I'm back with another video um, regarding my um, altered book. I dug out, uh, first of all let me say, I put away a bunch of stuff, which is kind of amazing in this room. Usually just gets stacked and stacked and stacked until it falls over and then I put things away. But I actually put things away before there was an avalanche. So that's an accomplishment in itself. Um, <laughs> so I dug out the paper pad I was talking about. It's actually the heirloom stack from DCWV. And it's one of those 180 stacks, and I went through and pulled papers from it that I think will be likely. Um, and I probably, I don't know, there's probably 40, maybe 50 pieces of paper here. Um, quite a few. And and they are just paper, which is what I, what I think we have to stick to with this book, or it's going to explode on me. So, my idea is, let me just show you some of the papers. Um, it's not my favorite paper stack, but I think I'm going to make it work. Some of the pages are, are I really like, some of the pages not so much. But, um, there are a lot of papers like this in different colors, a, green, a bunch of greens, a blue, um, these creamy colors. Um, and I think I'll use those sort of to layer, but not necessarily to cover a page, if you know what I mean. And then there are other pages that have elements that you can cut out. Um, like, see this one. Part of me likes this, but then there's another part of me not so much. Love the keys. The block letters, those are cool. Um, but I think that's kind of big for that book. I don't know how I feel about that. And... So, yeah, there's, there's lots of papers that, that read plain, even though they have sort of a pattern to them. This, of course, there's some, some cut-out pages, and I, I'm going to take that and supposed to cut all that stuff out of there. Um, so these are the ones I'm talking about. There's stuff like this over and over and over again. But I pulled them because... because. <laughs> so, there's that. These are really pretty, and this one's got, I don't know if you see it, but it's got um, music in the background. Another one that I'll probably to cut a lot of elements from to use throughout. There's only half of this left. I used most of it. I had made my, made my sister an altered... Um, book not the same way. I gutted it and then started new. I made my sister a, um, a traveling journal. She went on a month-long cruise to Hawaii and um, she loves word puzzles so I used up all of that paper in her book. It's that little half sheet that I kept because I like it. So there's another neutral, another plain. <clears throat> you see what I mean? Lots and lots of um papers that, that read as a, a solid color. So, yeah. You get the idea of what the paper pad's like. So, I think I might just go ahead and just start with some Cutting up some papers um, instead of a page or two and get going. In this book, I plan to, if there's a plain page like this, I'm not going to do anything to it. Um, that's perfect writing material. And I especially want to leave that, that um, price tag there. I think that's really fun. But that's all great journaling space. And I really kind of wanted to leave this page unadorned. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it in there. And then there's these pages that I wasn't sure what to do with yet. I might glue those together and make another pocket page out of them. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Um, so, and then we'll just start picking pages at random, I think, and, and do what we want with them. So, let me glue this one. Figure out what I'm going to do with it first. Here's my first slanted pocket. 
Yeah, well, that's what we'll do. I'm going to get a slide it perfectly when we get this way. It looks like there's two pieces there. I just don't know if it's necessary to glue this down before you glue it down if you fall on me. Um, I just do it to make it more secure. It sort of stiffens up that page. Um, there are lots of tutorials. Um, a lot of people um, have shown how to do uh, prepping a book for making an altered book. Um, Yellow Gostinelli has done one every year for several years. And um, so has um, Artie Mays and um, yeah, several people. I, it, it, my mind just went blank. I'll try and, and remember to link a few in the description box. Um, but I, I just didn't feel like it was necessary for me to, to show you all of that. But the idea was that you... You know, you, you, you keep two pages that you're going to glue together and make some kind of a pocket or a single page if that's the way you want to do it. And then you tear out three or four pages depending on how much how much you want to, you know, leave in. Um, and that's what I did. I tore out like four pages and kept two. And, and, then, and then the ultimate idea is that you put your torn out pages between two of the pages we're going to glue together to make a pocket, so the torn pages are, are hidden. And you also, it gives your pockets a little bit of depth, so you have room to put stuff in there. Um, this pocket, of course, won't have anything to give, give it more depth, but this type of pocket is actually uh, less inclined to need that, so... Yeah. I can't get the pin on my... There we go. No, it didn't go in. Because I'm trying to do it far away. There we go. Um, so yeah, let's just get something going on. I don't think I've measured the pages. Timmy ruler, as they say. Do y'all call him that? Timmy. It's like seven and three eighths by five and an eighth. So. We would want maybe our pages to be like six and three, or seven eighths by what is that with? Five and an eighth, so five, four and seven eighths. I better jot that down. That looks like we have to measure that over and over again. kind of a pain because that means that we can't and I could cut them down to six inches but with that leave us we only did it six inches oh no no we can't do that no we can't do that that would be just too much paper uncovered so yeah I'm just gonna use, use my old, my old, old, old trimmer because it's easier to cut a single paper without hauling out that big thing. So six and five eighths. Put that there, and then four and seven eighths. And that would be right about. Is that right? There's five, so it's the right to be right. That doesn't feel right. That's five. I would say that's seven eights right there. Or five, yeah, seven eights. We'll see how that, that doesn't feel right, does it? I can always layer it somehow. Move you out of the way.
So with the kids coming, <coughs> excuse me, with the kids coming tomorrow, we plan to feed them just sandwiches. Yeah, that's really short. <laughs> yeah, it's really short. I think that's going to have to be on one of these kind of pages. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even that's short for that. If you want to be all the way up. Well, that don't beat all. Why'd you like something to do that? Huh? Alright. Now. Okay, so it's okay this way. I think I, get, I, think I cut the wrong way, I think is what I did. So I want this at four and seven eighths. Which I would say is right about there. <laughs> See if that doesn't make it a little better. Yeah, it does. That's more like it. Okay. I think I'm just going to get that on there, just, just, just to get us going. I've probably been out of the camera all the time, haven't I? Um, and then I'll, I'll obviously do something more to it, but let's just get going. Now, do I want to ink every page? <clears throat> That's a lot of new photo inking if I do that. Let's do this one and see what we think. Maybe if we just do sort of minimal anything like that, just to make sure that there's no white edges showing. And not worry about really changing the look of the paper. That won't be so bad. So the menu for tomorrow is just going to be sandwiches, chips, that kind of thing. But we are going to make some uh, cherry cheese tarts in the morning, my husband and I. Those little um, cheesecakes you make with the... Villain the wafer in the bottom of the uh, cupcake liner, and then you make the cheesecake stuff, bake them, and then you put cherry pie filling on top. That's a favorite with everybody. So we'll do that. And um, and the chief attraction tomorrow is my daughter-in-law is invited to a double bridal shower. Two of Joe's cousins are getting married. And, um, so Amy's going to the bridal showers, or sh shower, I should say, just one shower. We're doing them together. And then, um, the boys are going to stay here with their dad and all of us, and shoot guns, I guess. They got a BB gun, or a pellet gun, they have a pellet gun, and Grandpa has a, a BB gun. So he's going to run out to Walmart in the morning and pick up a fresh supply of BBs and pellets because when they were here about a month ago, they pretty much depleted the supply that we each had. <laughs> so, yeah, there's the first page started anyway. Um, so, let's just keep moving on. Pull another paper at random, maybe. And I don't think I will make real long videos or craft with me videos just because I don't think um, first of all I don't think I can talk that that much um, well maybe I could <laughs> um, but also because I don't think I'm that interesting that you want me to talk that much 
so we'll just sort of leave it at that. What did I say it was six and five eighths? Yes, yeah, six and five eighths. So six and five eighths. Okay, right there. Now, when I would do a scrapbook page, and see, look, doesn't it look short again? What did I do? I don't understand. And I can make that right with putting lace on or something, but it's annoying to me. Alright, let's just put this over and make some marks. That won't work, though, will it? Hmm. How can I mark that without without getting in trouble. Let's do it this way. From that corner to yeah, that corner. To -do -do. Did that right? This piece of, it doesn't it doesn't look like it's gonna work, does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Yeah, you want this spot like that. I'll put that piece inside there, and this piece will go right there. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. This one might have to be turned down a bit, actually. No, it'll go out like that. Alright, so let's see if this up that page. Cover my glue so it doesn't dry out. Oops, I should have done this one before I glued it. Make it just a little bit easier. That's why I did it already. And so the page is because I did it as I went along. Oh well, you know. So the boys that I referred to, my grandsons, um, are 11 and 13 now, and they're such a lot of fun. They've always been fun, but you know now they're 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 actually entertaining. They're interesting. They they have their own points of view about things and. They're, they're very personable and, and enjoy having conversations and um, they love to have us tell stories about when their dad and um, their uncle and, and my son were all kids and the kind of trouble they got into or even when I was a kid. They love hearing stories about that. Um, 
different things that we did that were goofy. Derek, especially the older boy, loves that. He'll, he'll just laugh and laugh at how ridiculous we all were. He gets a big kick out of that. Our Jared is, um, he's the 11-year-old. He is um, very, very bright. And he also is <laughs> um, rather spoiled. He's he's getting better. They they hopefully caught it before he turned into psychopath, <laughs> as as Amy says it. But um, he, for instance, if 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 he doesn't feel like hugging somebody, he just doesn't. There's you can't guilt him into it or shame him into it or. You know, he'll just give you this cold stare and wriggle away, and and even for me, he'll he'll play these games and he just cracks us up. So yeah, we let him get away with so much, and then we sort of reel him in a little bit. Yeah. Another page covered. Now, I will definitely put some things on here. I, 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 this will be, a, 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 just like this one is, will be a layering page. But I really don't know how I want to do that. But I don't like that. This video did some art glitter glue to secure that. Over there. Definitely the certain year. And they're all pretty close. Yeah, how's that? And this is this here. How do we do that? I think I'm going to pull some, um, I have a big old, uh, duffel almost of Tim Holtz, um, ephemera things that I purchased along the way. And I think I'm going to pull that down and, and maybe get some people on some of these pages and, and, um, stuff like that. And of course I have a boatload of tags to make. I have all the pages that I pulled out right here, and um, there are a lot. I don't know if you caught that, it was a math book, um, so there are all kinds of math problems, and, and there are illustrations, and it's kind of fun, so we'll see about that. I'll be using some of those, and... Um, yeah, I don't want to keep you here while I do this all the time, but um, that gives you an idea of what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to work on a couple more pages.